गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू सिविल अफेयर्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यूपी स्पेशल उत्तर प्रदेश 2024 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर प्रिलिम्स हेयर वी विल डिस्कस यू पी स्टैटिक जी के रिविजन बुकलेट रिटर्न बाई पी डब्ल्यू यू पी पी एस सी वाला एंड पी डब्ल्यू ऑनली आई एस एंड अवर टॉपिक इज आर्ट एंड कल्चर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश लेटेस्ट बिगिन द टॉपिक उत्तर प्रदेश हैज बिन रिवार्डेड विद द टू ग्रेटेस्ट गिफ्ट टू ह्यूमैनिटी दे आर द टू एपिक्स रामायण एंड महाभारत From the epic era, the region of Uttar Pradesh was nurtured by several new streams of culture. The two most important of which originated from Buddhism and Jainism. Buddhist architecture in Uttar Pradesh, Dhamek Stoop. The Dhamek Stoop was built in 500 century to replace an earlier structure built by the great Mauryan king Ashok in 249 BC. The Dhamek Stoop represents the Deer Park. Rishi Patan. The park is said to be of great importance because it was here that the Buddha delivered his first sermon to his disciples after attaining enlightenment and gave his eightfold path Ashtangic Yoga. The wall has exquisite carvings of humans and birds and inscriptions in Brahmi script. Dharma Rajika Stoop. It is one of the few pre-Ashokan stupas left over. With only the foundation remaining, the Dharmarajika stoop at Sarnath has five phases of construction dating back to the Mauryan and early medieval periods. According to Marshall and Kunau, the original stoop dates back to the time of Ashok. Chokhandi stoop. The Chokhandi stoop in Sarnath is believed to have been built during the Gupta period between the fourth and sixth century to mark the spot where. Lord Buddha and his first disciples met while travelling from Bodh Gaya to Sarnath. Ashoka Pillar, Lion Capital of Ashok. The pillars of Ashoka are free-standing and made of chunar sandstone, a famous landmark of Indian architecture. The Lion Capital of Ashok is the capital or head of a pillar erected by the Mauryan Emperor Ashok at Sarnath in Uttar Pradesh. Four life-size lions are set one after the other on a drum-shaped abacus. The edge of the abacus is decorated with raised wheels. Sculptures of animals like lions and bulls added to the beauty of these pillars. At its base is a bell-shaped lotus. The lion capital of Ashoka is the national emblem. Temple architecture in Uttar Pradesh, the Shavata Temple, Deogad, the Dashavata Temple or Vishnu Temple, one of the oldest surviving Hindu stone temples, was built in 500 AD at Deogad in Uttar Pradesh. This exquisite Gupta Temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu is the earliest known Panchayatan Temple in North India. Figures of Ganga and Yamuna adorn the carved doorway leading to the Sanctum. The Shikhar architecture was introduced here for the first time in the 5th and 6th century. Only the lower part of the Shikhar survived, which was the most crucial part of the temple. Bhitargao Temple Kanpur. The Bhitargao Temple is built in the 6th century during the Gupta Empire. It is the oldest surviving terracotta Hindu temple with the roof and high spire. When Cunningham first visited this site, the remains of the porch and ardha mandap porch and ardha mandap were still visible which later collapsed indo islamic architecture in uttar pradesh taj mahal located on the banks of river yamuna in agra the taj mahal is the epitome of architectural grandeur emperor shah jahan built it for his beloved wife mumtaz mahal The dazzling beauty of the Taj has been sculpted from flawless white marble with aesthetic use of decorative features such as pietra dura and captivating motifs in calligraphy. Agra Fort. This fort is a masterpiece of design and construction built by Emperor Akbar in 1573 AD. Several outstanding buildings are built inside the fort. 
including the Muti Masjid, the Diwan e Aam, Diwan e Khas, and the Musamman Burj, Musamman, Musamman Burj, Jahangir's Palace, Khas Mahal, and Shish Mahal are other important monuments inside the fort. The fort was the site of a battle during the Indian Rebellion of 1857. Fateh Pur Sikri. Fateh Sikri was built between 1571 and 1585. Akbar built a royal residence at Sikri to show his gratitude to Saint Salim Chisti, Saint Salim Chisti, Sufi Salim Chisti, which would serve as a joint capital with Agra. He also named the new city as Fatehpur Sikri. Fatehpur Sikri is the best example of culmination of Hindu and Muslim architecture. Fatehpur Sikri Mosque is said to be a copy of the mosque in Makkah and has designs derived from the Persian and Hindu architecture. Asafi Imam Bada, Bada Imam Bada. The massive structure in Lucknow was built in 1784 by Nawab Asaf Uddala. Its central hall is said to be the largest vaulted chamber in the world. There is no woodwork in the entire structure except for the galleries in the interior. Within the premises of the Imam Bada is the Grand Asafi Mosque. Shahi Baoli is another attraction here. Tomb of Salim Chisti. This is the burial place of Sufi Saint Salim Chisti in Fatehpur Sikri. It was built by Mughal Emperor Akbar in honor of the Saint. The door to the main chamber is intricately carved with arabesque, arabesque or arabesque patterns and bears inscriptions from the Quran. Khusro Bagh, it is the large historical garden containing the tombs of Shah Jahan Shah Begum. It is a large historical garden containing the tombs of Shah Begum, the Rajput wife of Jahangir, Jahangir's eldest son Khusro Mirja and Jahangir's daughter Nithar Begum. It is located at Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh. It was also associated with India's freedom struggle. Colonial Architecture of Uttar Pradesh Mayo Memorial Hall Mayo Memorial Hall in Prayagraj was built in 1879 by R. Roskel Baine, showing is the 19th and 20th century colonial architecture. Public meetings, receptions and balls were held in this hall built in memory of the slain Viceroy Mayo, All Saints Cathedral. The colonial structure of the All Saints Cathedral, also known as the Pathar Girja Stone Church, was built in the 19th century in the Gothic architectural style. It was designed by Sir William Emerson in 1871. Sanskrit College in Varanasi. The present building of Sanskrit College were constructed in the Gothic style. In 1916, Lord Hardings. The Viceroy of India commissioned the construction of the Banaras Hindu University building, one of the finest architectures in Asia. Raj Bhavan. The Raj Bhavan in Lucknow used to be Kothi Hayat Baksh, Kothi Hayat Baksh, which was designed by Major General Claude Martin as his residence. Before India's independence, Koti Hayat Baksh was declared Government House, the official residence of the Governor of the United Province of Agra and Avad. After independence, its name was changed to Raj Bhavan. Vidhan Bhavan It was on December 15, 1922 that the then Governor, Sir Spencer Harcourt Butler, laid the foundation stone of Vidhan Bhavan then known as the council house. It was specially built with stones from Mirjapur and took six years to complete. The building now known as the Lucknow GPO was once 
are in theater used by british families for entertainment it was used as a platform for showing english films and english plays were also performed here begum samru church the church of the sardhana was built by begum samru and dedicated to mother mary in the year 1822 it is a roman catholic church and a fine example of the european architectural style mathura school of art the mathura school of art reached its pinnacle during the kushan the most important work of this period is the anthropomorphic image of the buddha who was hitherto represented by certain symbols not only buddhism but the other two religions jainism and hinduism were also depicted in mathura style salient feature it may be noted that the image of vishnu and shiv are represented by their ayudh or ayudhas their ayudhas there is boldness in carvings large image in carvings the large image the volumes of the image is projected out of the picture plane the faces are round and smiling and heaviness in the sculpture volume is reduced to relaxed flesh the garments of the body are visible images of buddha yaksh yakshini shiv and vaishnav deities and portraits are richly carved mostly speckled red stone was used to make statues and sculptures in the 2nd century ce the image in mathura became sensuous rotundity increased and became fleshy in the 3rd century ce changes in sculpture volume by reducing excessive musculature and monument in posture is shown by increasing the distance between the two legs and using the tilt of body posture halo around the head is profusely decorated halo around the head is profusely decorated paintings in uttar pradesh the tradition of painting in uttar pradesh dates back to prehistoric times such as caves or mirzapur style rock shelters mirzapur paintings it belongs to the prehistoric period some of the ancient paintings are found from the caves of lakhania dari in mirzapur and sonbhadra district they depict scenes of festival dance war and hunting the cave paintings of sonbhadra and chitrakoot throw light on the period between the mesolithic and neolithic periods mughal paintings also known as the agra style of paintings miniature paintings depict the events and lifestyles of the mughals the golden period of painting in uttar pradesh was the mughal period painting reached its zenith during the reign of jahangir bundela paintings bundela paintings belong to the school of rajput painting bundela's painting touched all aspect of life and had strong religious overtones gods and goddesses are recurring subjects scenes from the royal court mythical beast and even the everyday life of a common man the art of painting reached its zenith of perfection in the region of bundelkhand when the king of orcha rebuilt the temple of keshav dev at mathura braj paintings also known as the mathura style of paintings the paintings from mathura gokul vrindavan and Govardhan depicts scene from the life of Lord Krishna. Rajput paintings. Rajput paintings. It was developed by Chandela Kings of Kannauj and Bundelkhand. Generally based on love stories, tales, religious customs and cultures. Jain paintings. It developed in the region of Mathura. The paintings made on paper were first introduced in the Jain painting styles. craft in uttar pradesh chicken curry this form of handicraft is mainly prevalent in lucknow it is done on fabrics like chiffon kiffon 
मुस्लिन ऑर्गेंडी एंड सिल्क चिकन साड़ीज एंड कुर्ताज आर परफेक्ट टू वियर इन समर 